Welcome to a video scrapbook of Rendezvous 2002 at the Harrisoff Marine Museum. This historic biennial gathering of about 450 people and some 43 Harrisoff sailboats made marine history on Narragansett Bay, Bristol in August of 2002. There were two days of sailing, socializing, and racing in some of America's greatest sailboats, all the creations of Captain Nat Harrisoff. These yachts certainly are time machines. I think it's apt because we're looking at the best of the best. We're looking at uh, yachts that were developed through Captain Nat's uh, extraordinary engineering and uh, his great innovations, which always seem to succeed. And I think the fascination of all of us today is uh, marveling at not only how great these boats were, but how great they are today after, in some cases, a hundred years of use. For those who sail, this is really hallowed ground. This is the exact location where magnificent Harrisoff boats were built and launched. We who sail here in the 2000s think back to that all the time. We're very eager for this rendezvous 2002. It carries on a long established tradition here. We began this uh, set of races way back in 1980. And I think it's gotten better and better. And this year, we have the best facilities here with all of these floats and all. And I think we have uh, the most high-quality fleet this year that we've ever experienced. The Bambino was built, uh, believe it or not, in 1904. So she's 98 years old. And she's just a wonderful sailing boat designed by Nat Harrisoff, built at the company here, and has been in the museum now for 25 years actively sailing most of the time. And then uh, right in sight of us now are a number of very interesting boats. One is the Peaboat Joint, which has been beautifully restored at the Rutherford shipyard in San Francisco by uh, Bob McNeil, who is uh, uh, a great sailor and a great aficionado of these uh, historic boats. In addition to that, we're very proud of having a group of New York 30. Caramia across the way, and uh, the Amarita and the Nautilus. Uh, Nautilus just restored, and those boats are all in good condition, and um, they'll have a good race with this boat, Bambino. But one that we're proud to have here is the Schooner Gallant, which was built in 1926. She's a large Harrisoff schooner, more than 70 feet, and she too has had a very extensive and fine restoration in California. And so uh, those boats, plus um, three 12-meter boats and some great smaller craft, the Buzzard Bay 25s, and of course our old stalwarts, the one design uh, S-boats and 12 and a half footers, uh, all that together should make just a great uh, rendezvous and uh, wonderful sailing on the water. One of our greatest satisfactions is in uh, witnessing the tremendous devotion that the owners of these boats have towards their craft. And I think it's a combination of uh, challenge and uh, an appreciation of beauty, and perhaps uh, most of them wouldn't do it if they knew how hot it was. But you know, they get into it and they uh, start, and families and friends admire the boats, and they're just driven. We're uh, very grateful, as always, to have uh, Pete and Marshall Lawson managing these races. Uh, we worry about some of the details of this event working right, but when Marshall and Pete involved, we don't worry about that at all. So it's my pleasure to introduce to you Pete Lawson. Thank you, Halsey. Uh, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is the first time since we've been involved in this event where we've had the challenge of a northeast breeze, so it's going to give us a chance for some course opportunities which we haven't used in the past. 
Immediately following uh, this meeting, we have copies of the sailing instructions up here on the table to my right. Often I'm asked, why don't you just bring these boats to look at, why race them? Well, the obvious answer to that is that they were built to race. They were built to be extraordinarily able sailboats. They were built to uh, succeed under the racing rules of the time. And so uh, it's only natural and right that we bring them here and challenge them to race. My name is Bob McNeil, and uh, the name of the boat is Joyant. It's a P-class uh, vessel uh, built, designed in 1911 and launched, I believe, in 1912 for a race in 1912. Um, the boat is 58 feet overall, 35-foot uh, water line, 11-foot beam, and it was uh, reconstructed um, by Jeff Rutherford here uh, from in San Francisco, uh, California. This boat was. Um brought from Cape Cod where it was found uh, in a completely uh, uh, abused state having sat there for 25 years and um, we packaged it up and put it on a truck and brought it to the west coast to my shop where we proceeded to do about as extensive a restoration as you can do. Captain Nat had a number of commissions to build pea boats and arguably his most successful was the Joint. and here these many decades later she has been resurrected from really the junk heap by her present owner, Bob McNeil, who has brought her back to her previous magnificence. Built in uh, 1926, John Holgram's Gallant is a brilliant schooner representative of uh, many schooners built by the Harrisoff Company. Mr. Holgram has restored the gallant in an absolutely perfect way, and it's a matter of great pride for us to see her sailing in the rendezvous. As I go around the country and people talk to me about Harrisoff boats, the one they most mention is the 12 and a half footer. These boats, sometimes called bullseyes, have been the uh, boats that have uh, taught thousands of youngsters to sail. We use them in the Harrisoff Marine Museum Sailing School, and it's a great pleasure to have the 12 and a half footers racing in our rendezvous. Uh, I've got two boats here today. A Jerry Todd is a Buzzards Bay boys boat, a 12 and a half, and I've also got Seahawk, which is an E-class, a Newport 15. Will you be sailing tomorrow and Sunday? Absolutely, we'll be sailing both boats, uh, certainly on Saturday and hopefully on Sunday too. My name is Glenn Kim. This is my wife, Evelyn. Uh, our boat is a Bagatelle, which is a Buzzards Bay 25. Uh, she was originally made in 1914. And she's about 32 feet long. Uh, it's a gaff rig boat. And it's one of the four only uh, surviving boats of that uh, one design. We came down with... Uh, Dave Cork on a Bullhouse Boat Works, and he built uh, Coquina Reproduction Number no. Four, which is uh, a little further out here. And the museum's uh, Coquina Reproduction, which is actually Number no. Two, uh, is right here in the uh, inside of the dock. And um, so, as far as I know, it's the first time that we've had a couple of Coquinas actually racing. There were two sail plans for the Coquinas. There was a larger sail plan, and Dave went with that for his boat. And then you'll notice that the museum Coquina 
uh, has the smaller sail plant. So there's definitely a difference in size. So, um, <clears throat> you know, it, it will be interesting. I don't know how we'll, how we'll be rated and, and, and how that'll work out. Always at our Harrisoft rendezvous from the beginning, the well, most represented class has been the Harrisoft S-boats. With many of these great boats restored, we have um, great assurance that there'll be competition among the S-Class for many, many years to come. We're extremely pleased that this rendezvous included the yacht Amarita. Amarita is one of the famous class of Newport 29s, perhaps the most admired group of yachts of that size that we've witnessed. And uh, here to have Amarita beautifully restored with her fine gaff rig and beautiful sails uh, going to windward down Bristol Harbor is a joy indeed. The Caramia is another one of the uh, uh, New York Yacht Club 30 footers. And uh, she was one of a large class designed in the year 1905, so nearly 100 years old. And uh, the Caramere is particularly notable now because of her extraordinarily fine restoration. In fact, uh, that was so good that in Rendezvous 2002, she was awarded the Carlton J. Pinero Trophy for the best restored yacht in the fleet. The Arian is one of the few boats in the rendezvous not actually built at the Harrisoft Company, but she's uh, very, very interesting for this reason. That soon after World War II, my father, Sid Harrisoft, was requested to design the Arian. Being more than 40 feet long, she was the world's first sailing yacht uh, to be built in that size and to be built in fiberglass. And for her to be preserved and still sailing here more than 50 years later, is a great credit to the anchorage that built it and to my father, Sidney, who designed her. Because the museum contains as a part of its uh, mission the America's Cup Hall of Fame, we invite to the rendezvous uh, America's Cup 12-meter yachts. And this year, in 2002, we had the Fiddler, which is a former um, challenger by the New York Yacht Club, together with Hizza, which was one of the first fiberglass 12-meter boats built in New Zealand. And they formed a great spectacle racing with our fleet, and we were most pleased to have them involved. Soft Marine Museum are jubilant at the success of rendezvous dating from uh, 1981 forward to 2002. And we're going to do this every two years. And uh, it's most satisfying that our members and the people who own these boats are contacting us all the time 
looking forward as we are to the next Harrisoff Rendezvous on Narragansett Bay.